We're seeing a bit of a mixed reaction in the stock market on this Monday. The Dow hit a record high early in the session, but now it's down. The S&P 500 is flat. The Nasdaq is up. So let's talk now with Ryan Payne. He's the president of Payne Capital Management. Thank you, Ryan. That's kind of way. So is this all about the reopening trade? I think it is. I mean, you know, if you go back to November, you can see that we had small cap stocks, which are very economically sensitive, had their biggest month ever, right? So we saw value stocks outperform growth stocks, which is indicative of that reopening trade. And even into this month, small caps are up 5% for the month. You just talk about the down the S&P, you know, they're closer to like 1% or 2% for the year. So it's kind of like we saw this transition happen last month, Conway, and we're seeing follow through again this month, which really just speaks to the fact that there's so much opportunity in that reopening trade. If it's all about the reopening trade, why are we seeing the NASDAQ outpace the Dow and the S&P 500 today? Shouldn't we see those outpace the NASDAQ because that those two have more of the economically sensitive stocks? Well, I think you may see a little bit of rotation back, but if you look at the NASDAQ and you look at the S&P 500, because let's be real, that's just a tech fund and drag now, right? It's mainly technology. Um, you know, you basically have seen a lot of money roll out of those indexes. So you can see some money roll back into those indexes. But the reality of it is the big picture is, you know, what's going to have more runway? If you look at the NASDAQ now, it trades at like 30 times, 35 times forward earnings. Yes, you know, it can go up further here. But how much further can it go up? And a lot of these stocks have had a lot of news, good news baked into them. I have to think that your runway there is just not as much is what you're going to see in a lot of these beat down value names. You said uh, in a note that you sent me, you can't wait for the future to invest in the future. So then what are the, what's the strategy now? So I think the strategy now is to, brilliantly said, uh, is the fact that the, you know, the future, you've got to think about what the world's going to look like in six to 12 months, right? We know we have coronavirus cases going up right now. We know that we see hospitalizations going up. You know, we have a new political regime uh, coming in, new president come in in January. But we know these vaccines can be widely disseminated. We're talking about billions of doses, which is invariably going to reopen the economy. And I can picture six, from, six months from now, 12 months from now, we see a reopened economy, some normalization, and all the stocks that are going to benefit from that that's getting priced today. So you don't want to wait for that to happen. You want to start buying those names today. And you look at that value growth uh, dispersion between valuation, value stocks are just so much cheaper than growth stocks right now. So give me some sectors because I noticed today we got uh, all the travel and leisure stocks are up, Carnival and all of the the, the cruise ships uh, are way up, airlines are up. Is that is would you be a buy in though in in that sector? I think it's a diversified play. I mean that's going to be a volatile ride. Let's be real, right? We know it's not going to be straight up. But I think you know if you own like a small cap index, you're going to get that exposure. Like Spirit Airlines has had a huge move in the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know you just think about when you go travel again. And uh, Denny's, another perfect example of a small cap company that has you know, really gone up a lot just because we're going to eat out again. So I think any sort of basket of value stocks or you know, any sort of hospitality, airline stocks is definitely a good long term play here. Buying individual names, you know, we're more of a macro shop in the way we invest. Um, you can do that as well. But I think just having that overall trend certainly is going to benefit your portfolio over the course of the next six to 12 months. How much does this reopening trade, although it's pegged on the vaccine, how much does it depend on lawmakers in Washington getting their act together and coming up with a stimulus package? Like I said, the sun rises in the east. Politicians will agree to spend money. So maybe it's not tomorrow we get that stimulus bill, but I have to think now and sometime in January, maybe after the Senate race, they're going to pass something. And I think that's important, but I think the bigger stimulus is the fact that we have a big vaccine coming or vaccines, and that is essentially is what's going to drive this economy further. Because once you start getting hiring again in hospitality and leisure, once you get restaurants open again, that's going to be so many jobs created that right now are still on hold. But even with that Conway, we're under 7% in unemployment. Like that's like we've come so far so fast. And a lot of that's because we have a housing boom that I think we just have to pause and reflect here. We're way ahead of where economists thought we would be, you know, this far along and not that far along, really, uh, since the pandemic hit back in like February, March. Thank you. That's Ryan Payne. He's the president of Payne Capital Management. Great to be here. I'm Conway G. Gittins, and this is Reuters.